Hey reefers, welcome back to another video from Reef Drama. Today we're going to go through the full ordering process all the way through to receiving the results for my ICP test. Stay tuned to the end to see the results. Let's get into the video. Okay, so we're going to the internet and we'll bring up Marine Aquatics website, which is the one that I've chosen to get the Triton ICP test from. Uh, do a quick search and I've already got some salt in the shopping cart just because I need that anyway. And it gets us over that £50 threshold for free delivery. So it's all paid for now on its way and I've received an email for confirmation of the order. Uh, so that's great and what we'll do now is we'll wait for it to be delivered and then we can go through an unboxing and have a look at the instructions etc. So I think with any luck this is our delivery for both the salt as well as the ICP test. Yes it is, here it is. So we'll get this in the kitchen, we'll get it unboxed and we'll have a little look at the ICP test. Take the sample and get it posted off this afternoon. Right then, sort of a quick unbox, let's uh, get this undone and with any luck, obviously this is the salt that's come in and yep, as you can see, there's the ICP test, Triton Lab, turn it over and then on the back you've got all the parameters that it will get tested for. And then obviously we've got the instructions on here as well. Okay, let's open this up and see what we get inside. And we have, there's the bag. See, that's what we're gonna be posting it in. See, trying to do all this one-handed as per. And um, what else do we have in here? It's gonna be the instructions on exactly what we need to do. And then inside the little bag, we are going to have the vials. We should have the vials. There we go. And also, we've got the little barcode stickers as well, which we'll put over there. So, two little vials, instruction manual. And what we have to do, first of all, is go on and register. Once we've registered, um, we can then fill up the vials. We've got a Wash them through three times before we fill them both up. Stick the barcode sticker on and then put it into the supplied little envelope bag and post it off. Uh, two vials is because, um, obviously just in case, I guess one gets damaged. I guess the other one is like a backup, isn't it? Uh, more than anything else. So we'll get these uh, rinsed out and then we'll get them filled back up again. And we'll do the online registering and then we'll get them in the post. So let's go and fill them up. Okay, so I'm only gonna do the one, but uh, you'll get the idea. And just basically we're gonna fill this up, rinse it out. We're gonna do that sort of three times. And then obviously the last time will be the sample that we'll take. Now we wanna make sure that there's no air bubbles in there. And then we'll screw the little cap on. And then I've got a bit of kitchen towel just to dry it. So I'll do that with the second one, obviously off camera, and uh, and then we'll get them all marked up, labelled, and in the envelope. Right, that's all done. Both barcodes stuck onto the vials. Pop them into the little envelope. Seal it up. Like so. And then on the front, we've got the sticker that came with it with their address details on. I'm um, just gonna stick that obviously on the envelope. Stamp on it, get my return email, uh, get my return address details on there and the aquarium ID number. Pop it in the post and we'll wait. Okay, so now that it's gone off into the post, what we can do now is go on to the tritonlab.de for registry. 
Once we've done the registration, we'll then receive a confirmation email that we will need to validate just to obviously make sure that uh, A, you filled it out correctly, I guess, and B, that it's a legit email. Now what I'm going to do is fill out all the details off camera. So uh, once that's done, we'll then come back. We've selected go to and then we've selected aquarium administration. And we can now create the tank profile. So I'm going to create the name. We're going to call it uh, Reef Drama RSR for Red Sea Reefer 425XL. So now the name has been created. We can then start to fill out all the information that's required. So it's going to need to know um, how many litres or gallons your tank is. So I'm going to put in 375 litres in total. As far as supplements uh, and any sort of dosing requirements that we're doing I'm actually going to select regular water changes for both of those and I'm also going to select uh, KH as a supplement um, once that's done it's then going to ask us for filtration I'm going to write in nitrate pearls and roophos that's in a reactor and I'm also going to add in the fact that I've got a refugium I think as much information that you can put in here, obviously, the better. As you can't select two separate options or more, um, obviously, the only way is to actually write it down as other. And you can put as much information in there as you want then. Um, to input the barcode, we're going to select the little icon that has the plus symbol on it. And once we've typed the barcode in, it will then say added new aquarium successfully and we're now ready to view the water parameters online once we're notified okay so here we are we've come on to the aquarium administration i've had the email to say that the results have been received and they are now viewable so we can now go ahead and click on this little bar here that shows us the date as well when they received the water sample and the first thing that we need to do is choose the habitat here so what this will do is this will change their um, dosing advice and we can change it to uh, pretty much soft coal dominant we'll just go with that i think um, so then we scroll down and we can see that we've got to cross here data help dose products and visual so we'll stick with data for the moment and then on the left hand side you can see all the parameters that it's been tested for we've got the analysis results and then we've also got the set point where it needs to be or ideally needs to be and then we've got the little visual color graph on the right here showing where we are so everything at the moment is all in green so that's great to see let's uh, scroll it down a little bit and we come into the macro elements and we've got sodium is just within the set point so that's okay calcium a little bit low that's fine i can always increase the the calcium uh, that's being dosed into the tank so that's not an issue magnesium that's pretty good happy with that potassium again is in the green uh, all of these other ones are pretty much in the green so that's great let's have a quick look at what we've got here lithium is fine nickel yeah all good again all in the green look um, green 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 we've got one here in the yellow so iodine uh, should be between 30 and 90 and we've got 19 so a little bit low on that uh, next we've got the FE group and again we're all green uh, BA group we're all green you can see all the parameters that it's been um, tested for on the left so I'm not going to go through and read them all out to you but uh, silicon is fine it's within the set point and then we've got phosphorus which is outside of the set point so the set point should be between 6 and 23 we've got 37 and we've got phosphate which is high uh, and that's just basically because i haven't changed my roophos uh, in the reactor and that does need to be done so as soon as i've done that that will bring that down to 0 0.03 so all in all that is really good really happy with that uh, go back up to the top we can have a look at help so this will now pretty much just list 
um, what their advice is. So found the calcium levels are slightly low and then it tells you what we can do with regards to the, the phosphate and the phosphorus as well. And that's the only two in there. For dosing, you've got the, the lack of the iodine and again, it will go through the benefits of what the iodine will do. And it will also do the recommended uh, corrective dosage as well as if it needs it a daily maintenance dose as well and this is where you need to get your liters that's in your tank you know pretty much correct because otherwise um, these milliliters that they're advising to be dosed will be out also as well this would change depending on whether you selected a full reef or SPS uh, dominant or soft coal dominant, which is what I've selected, you know, even fish only, obviously that would um, change all of this as well. Uh, and then we've got uh, lack of boron, uh, lack of lithium and a lack of calcium, lack of potassium, lack of magnesium, lack of strontium, van, what was that one? Vanadium, uh, and then a few more magnes, um, so then you're getting into kind of like advanced uh, levels for dosing but you know for me for fish for soft corals I'm not really going to worry too much about most of that they've got products here that they advise obviously you can go ahead and get any um, dosing chemicals from pretty much anywhere and uh, just read in their own instructions for the dosing amounts and then visual here once you've got more than one test result you can then select on the actual uh, test itself so if we find the um, let's go for calcium uh, and then obviously you can start to sort of build up a graph as and when you've got more than one ICP test result so all in all really happy with that go back to the data as you can see pretty much everything's in the green really really good we just need to sort out the the phosphate but as i say that is an easy fix so happy days well then guys i mean that's the end of the video really but i've got to say i'm really pleased with that icp test of this tank it's the first time i've actually done one of those tests um and you know very happy obviously as you can see with the results i've just got the row of phosphorus to sort out and that's a very quick fix Hopefully when you've done yours or if you're going to do yours at some point soon, you'll have similar results. Um, but put a comment in the section below you know, if you've done one and you've had difficulties um, or if you've done one and like mine, it's come out pretty good as well. Um, I did in the end actually select mine to be viewable um, by everybody and anybody. So I don't know how exactly that works, but I've clicked it from, uh, from no to yes. So that's been done and uh, pretty much wraps up this video. So so again if you've enjoyed the video please click the like button and also please consider subscribing to the channel because that's really going to help me out in uh, future videos uh, to be able to purchase bits and pieces and carry on doing this for you so thanks very much for watching bye for now Is it